What can we do to make it easier to install kernel modules or VIPs uh, to all the ESX IOSs in a specific cluster? We can do so with the help of Lifecycle Manager, a new capability that we introduced with vSphere 7. In previous videos we talked a lot about Lifecycle Manager and all of its configurables, but for today let's focus on the components construct. When you look at the image depot for, uh, in Lifecycle Manager, you'll already see interesting things like the USB NIC fling driver, uh, a lot of versions of the VMware Tools asynchronous release, and a lot of drivers like this Pensando driver as well. Now for this demo, I would like to upload a custom component, uh, a custom kernel module, which is NVIDIA vGPU which uh, a part of vGPU is its kernel module, its VIP module. So let's hit actions, let's hit import updates and select one of the latest vGPU zip packages. Now remember this does need to be a zip bundle for it to be uh, included as a component in, in the image depot. So we'll wait a little bit until that, that driver is, or that component is now imported into the image depot. And when the import is done, it'll be listed in this components overview. So we now have this NVIDIA vGPU driver for ESXi, uh, this specific version, in the components overview. So we can now make it part of the desired state image that we configured for this specific cluster. So let's go to cluster, updates tab, and we already configured a desired state image running vSphere 7 update 2a. Uh, we included the vendor add-on as well, but no components just yet. So let's hit the edit button and in the components we can now show details and actually add components if we need to. For this specific demo obviously we're going to include that vGPU driver uh, that we just added. So if you do need to add more components, just uh, select more, select what you need and hit the select button at the, at the bottom there. So now we see that we have a manually added component. We validate the image to check if everything works out. It does, so let's hit save. And like discussed in other videos, um, once you edit the desired state image, immediately a compliancy check is being performed for all the hosts in that specific cluster but because we just updated or reconfigured that desired state image. So what we want to do now is to remediate all the hosts back to compliancy, right? So let's hit remediate all and we'll be presented with a couple of options and some information about what is going to happen. So let's quickly wait until the remediation is done. In this process all the hosts are put into maintenance mode and the kernel module is installed as well. All right everything is done. The remediation completed successfully, meaning that the vGPU kernel module is now installed on all the ESX IOs in this specific cluster. Let's quickly check if, if that is true, if the VIP is actually installed. One way to do so is to log into the ESX I shell for example. So let's quickly review if we have a NVIDIA vGPU in this specific host, and we do, we have a Tesla T4 GPU and we can now also uh, uh, check the list and in this specific case grab for NVIDIA to see if the, the kernel module is now installed. And it looks like uh, everything checked out, the VIP is installed and we are now ready to go to, to configure NVIDIA vGPU to utilize that, that capability. This demo we used vGPU but you can really add Whatever is in the zip bundle and uh, acts as a component for ESXi, you can slipstream as a component into that desired state. Uh, and by doing so, VLCM really helps to standardize and, and making sure that you're consistently using the same component on all the ESXi IOs, right? Because it is part of that desired state image. So really great help and a really efficient way to installing VIPs on your hosts no longer is there a specific need to log into each and every individual host, do the manual upload, do the manual configuration and the installation. This is now done for you. Same goes with removing a VIP, a kernel module. You simply remove it as a component in the desired state image. And VLCM with the remediation does the rest for you. 
Thank you for watching.